Well, we also have new reaction today to a growing controversy over a political attack ad we brought to you, mentioned to you last hour. It aired in Michigan during the Super Bowl. Listen here. Thank you, Michigan Senator Debbie Spend It Now. Debbie spends so much American money, you borrow more and more from us. Your economy get very weak. Ours get very good. We take your jobs. Thank you, Debbie Spend It Now. I think this race for U.S. Senate is between Debbie Spend It Now and Pete Spend It Not. I'm Pete Spend It Not Hookstrom, and I approve this message. Joining me now, the man behind that ad, Senate candidate and former Michigan Congressman Pete Hookstra. Congressman, thank you very much for being here. So we talked about this in our last hour. Our viewers may be familiar. The Asian and Pacific Islander American vote groups come out and said they're, dis they're deeply disappointed by this ad. They find it very disturbing that you chose to use, quote, harmful negative stereotypes that intrinsically encourage anti-Asian sentiment. Your response, sir. The only uh, group of people that this ad is anti it's anti-Debbie Stabenow, it's anti-Barack Obama, the spending policies of the liberal left. You'll notice that the ad points to the opportunities that America's dumb economic policies, deficit spending, trillion dollars of deficits, trillions and trillions of debt, it creates the opportunities for countries like China and others to take advantage of our weakness. It weakens U.S. The, the U.S. economy, and it strengthens our competitors. They appear, some groups, not only to have a, have a problem with, you know, the, uh, what they view as trying to demonize uh, the Chinese, but also with the broken English, as if, you know, there's, there's a, you know, an intelligence factor here. I mean, I'm reading the tea leaves, but Reverend Charles Williams II of Detroit's King Solomon Baptist Church, where Malcolm X once spoke, came out today and said that woman's broken English in the ad is no different than, quote, having a black person speaking in slave dialect. And uh, others are calling it really racially insensitive. They say this actress is American, doesn't have a broken dialect, that she was just told to speak that way for the ad. And they believe that's, uh, that's an, un an unfair stereotype, sir. Well, it's not a stereotype at all. This is a, you know, through the creative, this is a young woman in China who's speaking English. That's quite an achievement. You know, what these folks and what others are angry about, they're angry about the message that we are actually confronting the Democrats and Debbie Stabenow on the failed policies that have resulted in eight and a half, nine percent unemployment in the United States. We have an economic growth rate of around two percent. China's coming off against, uh, uh, coming off a nine percent economic growth rate. That's what we need to be focused on. This ad hits the Democrats exactly where it hurts on their spending over the last three years under President Obama that has weakened our economy. Do you feel, do you feel at all unfairly targeted as, you know, promoting racial stereotypes uh, because of this ad? I mean, do you feel like they've gone to the place that hurts unfairly? Well, it, it hurts. Uh, we expected it. Uh, as Lou Dobbs mentioned earlier, there's nothing in here that uh, has a racial tint at it all. But, you know, the bottom line is when Debbie Stabenow and them can't defend their record, what they'll typically move to is they'll move to the race card. You know, folks can go to our website and they can take a look at how the spending decisions of this administration have weakened us economically and the results that that has been for both China and the United States. The contrast couldn't be clearer. On that point, the Michigan Democratic chairman came out and said, uh, you're one to talk. He said, you voted for the $700 billion Wall Street bailout and you voted for trillions more in deficit spending, uh, suggesting who are you to criticize? Well, hell, all you have to do is we're, we want to engage in that debate. I was on the budget committee with John Kasich when we passed budgets and we balanced the budget. Debbie Stabenow, she's on the budget committee. In the Senate, they haven't passed a budget for over a 1,000 days. And what does Harry Reid say last week? Oh, we're not going to pass one this year either. Bring it on. This is what Republicans need to be talking about, fiscal responsibility versus the irresponsible activities of this president, the Democratic Senate. When we get focused on that message, the American people are and will respond. They want us to engage the Democrats in what they have done to our economy and hold them accountable. Congressman Pete Hookstra, thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you being here. Hey, great. Thank you. All the best.